a pilot who has flown for about 40 years. Mm -hmm. Commercial pilot, like with an airline? Uh, no, he. I guess he's a private pilot. Okay. All right. He decides that he wants to fly his son to tennis practice to avoid traffic. So, like, he wants to fly his son from, like, uh, their home, Oak Brook, Illinois, to West Oak Brook. Right. <laughs> In an airplane. In an airplane. And obviously, he doesn't have a permit or any sort of permission to park on the street. Yeah, because it's, um, uh, it's an airplane. Right. Right. And uh, he decides that he didn't care, and he went ahead and he parked the plane on the street. Dude, where did he... And authorities went ahead and... I mean, people went ahead and called the authorities, and, uh, you know, he got in trouble. And he said, next time I think about taking my son to tennis practice, I guess I'll just drive. Look, there's only one thing to say about that story, uh... Uh, people have too much money. I mean, that's crazy. That is crazy. Take a chopper. Mm -hmm. That's reasonable. No. But I mean, it, being a person who sits in traffic for two hours every day to go to work, yeah. that would be awesome to be able to fly or have someone fly me to work. Yeah, okay, great. It'd be also awesome if we all just put on a quick jetpack. Yeah. But I mean, we... We don't. It don't happen like that, man. We got the, we got the societal rules that you have to follow. Right. And when your son, when you're a good, where does he live? Where in Illinois? He lives. Let me tell you right now. Uh, Lake Villa. All right, we don't know where that is. Uh, so you live in Lake Villa. Sounds nice, though, doesn't it? It does sound. Yeah. Nice. You know he lives in a gated community. <laughs> no, probably not. He probably lives. He's got probably got like six acres with his own little airstrip. But when you got to get your son, first of all, tennis practice. But put your son on a team. A real team, okay? I'm not saying you can't play tennis. Right. But the guys on the tennis team, the guys on the tennis team, they're flat out not getting laid. Uh, I don't know. They might be getting laid. I, they probably are getting laid. Everybody's getting laid. Everybody was getting laid except me. Um, but, I mean, the tennis team, you're just, this. you can't, the story can't be more filled with wealthy people who regular folk hate. I mean, he's on the tennis, I mean, only thing worse, am I wrong, Jesus Jr.? Golf team. Right, if it was golf practice. I hate golf. But all these sports are ones that kind of think ahead. I mean, not all tennis players. You're a professional tennis player. I mean, come on. Everybody loves Federer. Oh, no. Everybody loves Agassi. And in golf, I mean, if you're the cool younger golf dudes, if you're not 65 years old, you know, it's it's thinking ahead that which, I don't know how old the kid was, but people don't think about it. They're like, oh, I can be a tennis player. No, no. I, look, you know what? I'm going to go back on that because golf – is you know there's a secret. It's not even a secret, obviously. Golf. There's a whole uh, 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 blue collar aspect to golf. I mean, you go to public courses and they're just guys who work for a living playing golf, right? Tennis. Tennis still has that sort of uh, that little vibe of everybody wearing the collared shirts, and, and tennis has a tennis has an upper class vibe to it still. And a guy from Lake Phila, uh, Illinois flying his kid on a plane. Tennis practice. Come on. Come on. Drive. Drive. I got an idea. Leave. 45 minutes of traffic, he said, if he drove. Sorry. <laughs> Leave early. <laughs> I mean, you got nothing to do in Lake Villa. You're just earning interest. I don't know. You're apparently, you're turned on by this.